Good day everyone! Welcome to Mathematics for Young Achievers with Merivet Education Center. This series is for grade 5 and talks about finding unknown angles. Let's learn some vocabulary words. Here are some important vocabulary words for this lesson. Can you say them with me? Here we go! Parallelogram Rhombus Trapezium Kai Good job! Please say the word with me. Parallelogram. Great job! Can you read the meaning with me? A flat shape with four straight sides. Two pairs of opposite sides are parallel and equal. Wonderful! Next! Please say the word with me. Rhombus. Very good. Can you read the meaning with me? A flat shape with four equal sides and the opposite angles are equal. Excellent. Next. Please say the word with me. Trapezium. Perfect. Can you read the meaning with me? A flat shape with four straight sides. One pair of opposite sides are parallel and the other pair are not parallel. Amazing! Let's learn another one. Please say the word with me, Kai. Great! Can you read the meaning with me? The two pairs of adjacent sides are equal. A pair of opposite angles is equal. Excellent! Now, it's time to apply this concept. Let's learn together on how to find the unknown angles. Ready? Can you guess what type of quadrilateral is this? Good job! This is a parallelogram. Can you read the instruction with me? EFGH is a parallelogram and angle FEH is equal to 120 degrees. Find the unknown angles. The unknown angles are angle G, angle F, and angle H. Before we can solve these following unknown angles, we need to recall what are the properties of a parallelogram. We have the opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. Notice that angle F, E, H is opposite to angle G. So we can say that angle G is equal to 120 degrees. Do you have any idea how to solve angle F and angle H? Very good! Let's recall another properties of a parallelogram. The sum of angles between each pair of a parallel side is 180 degrees. Look at the picture. Do you have any idea how to solve angle F? Wonderful! 180 degrees minus 120 degrees is equal to 60 degrees. How about angle H? That's right! Angle H is equal to angle F and that is 
60 degrees. Did you get it? Good job. Let's learn another one. The next figure is a rhombus. Can you read the instruction with me? PQRS is a rhombus. And angle QRS is equal to 135 degrees. Find the unknown angles. The unknown angles are angle P, angle S, and angle Q. Do you have an idea how to solve angle P? That's right! The opposite angles of a rhombus are equal. Angle Q, R, S is opposite to angle P. So angle P is equal to 135 degrees. Do you have any idea how to solve angle S and angle Q? Very good! Let's solve angle S first. We have 180 degrees minus 135 degrees is equal to 45 degrees. We have the value of angle S. That's 45 degrees. Take note that angle Q is opposite to angle S. That means angle Q is equal to angle S. And that is 45 degrees. We have the value for angle Q, and that is 45 degrees. Next. The next figure is a trapezium. Can you read the instruction with me? A, B, C, D is a trapezium, with A, B is parallel to D, C. Find angle A and angle C. The unknown angles are angle A and angle C. Do you have any idea how to solve angle A and angle C? That's correct. Let's recall what are the properties of a trapezium. The sum of angles between the pair of parallel sides is 180 degrees. Look at the picture. Do you have any idea now how to solve angle A and angle C? Let's solve angle A first. We have 180 degrees minus 78 degrees is equal to 102 degrees. How about angle C? Good job! We have 180 degrees minus 125 degrees is equal to 55 degrees. Did you get it? Awesome! Let's learn another one. Can you guess what type of quadrilateral is this? Good job! This is a kite. Can you read the instruction with me? PQRS is a kite. Find angle Q and angle P. The unknown angles are angle Q and angle P. To solve these following unknown angles, we need to recall what are the properties of a kite. We have a pair of opposite angles in a kite is equal. Do you have any idea how to solve angle Q? That's right! Angle PQR is opposite to angle Q. So we can say that angle Q is equal to 100. Let's have another property of a kite. The interior angles of a quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. Do you have any idea now how to solve angle P? That's correct! 360 degrees minus 
270 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. Now, you deserve a hug. Happy learning, students. See you on the next episode.